From Mr. Rogers' neighborhood all over, it's becoming quite the familiar sight, the Ice Bucket Challenge going viral on social media. And it's in the spirit of making a difference for people diagnosed with the debilitating disease, ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Tonight, Fox 11's Alex Ronaldo explains the disease and how dumping cold water is helping people living with ALS. A little chilly, but not bad otherwise. <laughs> Jim Bauer was one of several members of an Oshkosh ALS support group who completed the Ice Bucket Challenge Tuesday. He was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS, two years ago. My arms are starting to weaken considerably, but my legs are still good and, and everything else is good at this point. Yes, I know what the end results are and they're not very pretty. The degenerative disease attacks nerve cells in the brain that lead to muscles. It ultimately causes death. They become paralyzed in a body that no longer works for them. They can still feel, they don't lose sensation, but they lose the ability to move. There's no cure and it's unclear what causes ALS. Some of my best friends who are really sorry I have this terrible disease but have no understanding of what it is until he actually explain it to them. But as local leaders, celebrities, and ordinary people take this challenge, awareness is raised and so is money. Help us both with research as well as providing support to these families. The hope is that after you get the water dumped on your head, you also go make a donation if you can. Many people that are um, taking on the Ice Bucket Challenge are also donating as well as challenging their friends and family to donate. So how much has it raised? Here are the facts. Between July 29th and August 19th, the ALS Association raised almost $23 million. That compared to about $2 million in the same time period last year. Is there any concern that people are just doing this for attention for themselves? I think there is some concern about that. I guess from our vantage point, from for myself, you know, as a member of this organization, as well as the people that are living with this disease, hey, if it's going to draw this attention, and even if it's for a short period of time, you know, it's helping us. This is really catching on. It's really awesome right now, the way it's going. In Oshkosh, Alex Ranallo, Fox 11 News. We do have a link to the ALS Association uh, through our website, fox11online.com. Just look for the story on the Fox Valley page.